What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to edit and upload portrait videos on iMovie. Now we all know the big thing now is YouTube Shorts, TikToks, Instagram Stories. So let's get into this video. We're gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna go into my phone. I have two files that I already know I'm gonna use. Select those and the best way to transfer them over, the quickest way, is you airdrop them. As soon as you airdrop them, they come into the computer and then from there, we'll just jump in the computer. We don't need the phone anymore. So once you're in the computer here, you see it opened up in the downloads folder. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open iMovie. So once iMovie's open, we're gonna go to create new movie. All right, so once this screen is up, we can go back to the downloads folder, the two clips you just imported from your iPhone. You could pretty much just go ahead, click those and drag those directly into your timeline. Like so. Once they're in your timeline, we can close this and we can extend iMovie to take up the whole screen. We don't need it anymore. All right, so once you have both media files here, you're gonna notice when you play back, you're gonna have these two big bars on the side and these are bars that they're just gonna be there whether you upload it when you finish your project because iMovie is not made for portrait video. iMovie is made to upload in a widescreen format. Now, there is the way around this, and this is why I'm telling you guys, this is a two-step process. So, first step we're going to do is once we get up here, we go ahead, we already see the video playing, we can see it playing, and it's playing with the big black bars on the side, that's how it's going to play. What we want to do to correct that, you're going to go up in here, you're going to go into the little square here, the cropping tool, you're going to see you have your fit, crop to fill, your Ken Burns effect, and you're going to see rotate left and rotate right. What we're gonna do is rotate clockwise. We're gonna do it for this clip and for this clip. Again, you're gonna go up here, go to the rotate clockwise. Now when you play it, it's gonna look like this. Now I know what you're thinking, wait, but that's not portrait video, unless you actually turn your screen and view it like this, <laughs> but you're not gonna about to do that, right? So here we go. What we wanna do is go, exit out of this, and then where it says the upload, so let's just say, for example, this is the video I want. Not even a minute. Let me make it shorter so we won't drag this out. I actually uploaded this train clip onto my Instagram and my TikTok. So guys, if you haven't already done so, I'll leave my links in the description below. Or I'll just pop it up on the screen here. Alright, so once we're in this screen here, the clip is set. 43 seconds is fine. We're going to stop it. You're going to click here to this upload button. Now you're going to have email, YouTube, and Facebook, save current frame, and export file. Pro tip guys, never directly upload to YouTube. I don't know, for some reason it compresses different. What you will want to do is export file first, and then from that exported file, transfer it directly to YouTube. Not directly from my movie. Alright, so we're going to go hit export file here. Uh, this movie is going to be about, let's put it, portrait tutorial. Uh, 1080p is fine. Here's where you're gonna have 540, 720, 1080, or 4K. This is gonna let you choose what resolution you want. 1080 is fine for this because it's a small clip. We want high, better quality, and then you're gonna click next. Save it to my desktop because that's where I want it. Now, step one is done. Once it's uploaded and ready to go, step one is done. Now, this is where a lot of people get stuck here. They think, all right, so it's uploaded, it's ready to go, let's upload it. No, hold on. There's still another step here, and this is the most important step other than editing your footage on iMovie. Now, you could go ahead, put music in there, but this is just going to be a quick edit just to show you guys how to actually do this. Okay, once it's done and it's successfully uploaded, we can go ahead, put iMovie away for now. We don't need it. And you're going to see your portrait tutorial right here. This is the clip we just did. You click it, you open it, you play it, you play it through QuickTime, which is pretty much where it's always going to play through on Apple devices. And you're going to see your video like this, right? That's not how you want it, is it? Wrong. So, in order to correct this, and this is the final step, in QuickTime Player, once your movie is uploaded from iMovie, in QuickTime Player, what you want to do is go up here, click the Edit button, and you're going to rotate it left one time. There you go. Here's your clip now. You see that? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And now your clip is playing the way it should be playing in portrait mode. Now, once you try to exit this, it's going to prompt you to save it. 
Save portrait. That's it. Let's just put it, leave it to the, set it to the desktop, H264, save it. This is one of the steps that a lot of people just, once they get here, they don't know where to go. They figure, wait, iMovie's not good for portrait videos, right? So then you're going to have another file here, portrait MOV. So what you could do from here on out is go share, airdrop it to whoever. I'm sending it to my iPhone. And there you go. There's the video we just edited right now. So that's it for this video, guys. I am going to do another one. I didn't just want to squeeze them all into one video. I'm only doing these because these are problems that I had in the beginning, and these are solutions that I found. Now, I've been an iMovie user since the beginning. I'm not going to lie. I do have Final Cut Pro, and I'm still transitioning to FPX. But for now, if I can help anyone else with iMovie, I'm more than willing to, guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and catch you guys in the next one. Peace.